Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to include filtered items in our pivot table totals. So what does that mean? Let's say I turn this into a pivot table. This is a range of data that I got from data.gov. It's basically test taking data from the state of Connecticut. I turn this into pivot table, go to insert, pivot table, and let's just put it onto a new worksheet here. I'll use district and then uh, test takers. Let's just use test takers 2013 since I have two, but I'll just use that one. And these are the sum totals. I want to also add another one to indicate the percentages. That's just a duplicate, but I'll make these percentages. Right click, show values as a percentage of the grand total, right? So I've got my totals there. Let's sort this. It'll make it a little bit easier to do this particular example. So I'm going to sort descending with the sum of the test takers. So the largest one shows up on top. And you can see this largest one is 3.9%. That is 1184 out of the total of uh, 30,005, which equals 3.95%. Make a copy of this so I can show you the example of what, how we take the filtered values. Control C to copy and Control V to paste here. In this example, I'm going to have the top 10. So if I do top 10, it's going to give me those top 10, which are these. Right, But you notice the percentages. That is 15.78%, where this is 3.95%. And the reason why it's doing that, of course, it is taking this value out of that grand total, not that 30,000 grand total that we have below. Right, not, not, that, not that one. So how do I make it where I can still see that percentage? Well, in the pivot table, you're supposed to be able to go to subtotal and include filtered items in, include filtered items in total. So it'll include all the filtered items as part of this total, but you can see it's grayed out. And the reason why it's grayed out is not enabled yet. There is a workaround for this. And what we can do is we can include the pivot table data in a pivot cache. Now, this pivot table is already created. What I need to do, let's bring up the field list. What I need to do is bring up our field list and under here where it says more tables, we can click on that. The other way to do it is just to create it from scratch. You know, go under here and create it from scratch. Um, I'll show you that. I won't go through it, but I'll show you where we would have to select the data model. So everything's the same here, new worksheet, but you need to check off this box to add it to the data model. I'm not going to do that here because it's going to be the same thing. That's one way to do it. Cancel. The other way to do it, if we already have it created, let me click on here is to click on more tables and it's going to ask us if we want to create a new pivot table and it's going to create it using the data model. You'll see here that the this view is going to change. It's not going to have these, it's going to have these checkboxes, but it'll have a, an additional icon for you to do the drop down, which indicates there's a data model behind us. Click yes. And now it's going to open up a new worksheet and also a new option for you to have your pivot table. See, so, so now I have a new worksheet here and I have this new icon, which is the data model. So you can see if I hover over, it says data source model table name range. Click this drop down. I have my same options to select from for my fields. So all I need to do is do the same thing I did earlier is right click, go to show values as a percentage of the grand total. We can see that that's there. Let's sort this one again. We'll sort it from high to low or yeah, high to low. Click OK, and we have 3.95%. If I took this, Control C to copy, and did the same thing I did earlier, and do my top 10, value filters, top 10, and click OK, and go here under Design, Subtotals. Now this is not grayed out anymore. Click on Include Filtered Items in Total. You, you notice that. These numbers will change. And now that is the total. That's the same total we had earlier there, that 30,005. And my values here are the same. You can see it included, it's including for the grand total all the values. So it included the filtered items in the totals and also took into consideration the percentages for my values there. So that's the, that's the way to get around what we have here when it didn't do it for us when we had this grayed out for the subtotals. 
You have to include it into the data model. Let me go back to sheet three. You have to include it in the data model. And that asterisk here under grand total, that asterisk indicates and it tells you that it is including the filtered items as part of the total and doing those calculations. So that's how you can use this particular command in the pivot table. And the reason why it's grayed out is because it's not available in the data model in a regular pivot table. You have to include it into, data, into the data model. And you know that you have a data model if we bring up our field list. The data model is not here. It doesn't, the way it's presented here, it doesn't show you that there's a data model behind this pivot table. But if you go into sheet three, you'll notice that we have this table. If we hover over it, it tells us that we have a data model that is sourcing this pivot table. So that's how we can include filtered items in our totals for our pivot tables. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.